$50,000 are paid to make sure that the non-doped athletes participate. Uh, so I think from our point of view, we're comfortable with, with this, but we follow the, uh, the IF rule. And, and of course, these cases happen before, before the games. Just a second question on that. Could you tell us that why then your medical director categorically stated yesterday morning that there has been no circumstances that a fine would be uh, able to see a team return to the Olympic Games? There was just uh, misinformation, miscommunications, and the understanding we had at this stage was that the $50,000 might have been paid to, reinstant, to reinstall the whole team. No, this was a federation that was actually going hard. They were, trying, they were trying to find a way between taking all the team out if they didn't pay a fine because three members were uh, in, uh, in breach of the rule. But I think that uh, the misinterpretation has caused the problem, not the efforts of the federation to do the right thing. Now, you can make as big a story out of, out of it as you like, and I think it's a genuine grievance to say that there was an inconsistency in information. But for my money, and I repeat it, the real issue is that people who have cheated should be stopped from taking part as individuals. People who have not cheated should not be jeopardised by that. This seat's getting hotter. I think I'll get up. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Sure. And I'm sorry there was a